Let me guess, life becomes less enjoyable, boring, lonely, depressive when you're not using a substance. Here's how it works. All addictive substances such as alcohol, opiates and cocaine trigger a pleasurable release of dopamine in a specific brain area known as vasoganglia. These neurotransmitters are essentially chemicals responsible for transmitting messages between nerve cells. They are responsible for controlling reward and our ability to learn based on rewards. As your substance use increases, these circuits of yours adapt and begin to scale back the sensitivity to dopamine, which then reduces the buzz that you normally would get from the substance. Correct me if I'm wrong. Are you even getting high anymore? This is where your tolerance level comes into play. As the substance becomes a regular presence, your brain establishes a new baseline and adapts to this adjusted norm. So what's our response when we feel normal? We tend to amplify the substance's quantity to recapture the level of high we're accustomed to. Does this sound familiar? These are the same circuits responsible for regulating our ability to experience pleasure from ordinary rewards like food, social interactions, sex and numerous others. So if your life's less enjoyable, boring and feeling lonely or depressed, this is why. Because the substance has disturbed your circuits that control reward and our ability to learn based on rewards. Let's rewind that back. Substance use has disturbed your circuits that control reward and our ability to learn based on rewards. Learn based on rewards. Learning driven by rewards is what can save you now. So if the substance use has disturbed your circuits, to get these circuits back up and running, learning based on rewards is what you need. When exposed to a reward, the brain responds by releasing an increased amount of dopamine. Every time you learn and push yourself to self-improvement, this becomes a rewarding experience for your brain, releasing an increased amount of dopamine. That's dopamine receptor D2 if you want to look it up. You give, you get back. It's a simple concept. You reap what you sow. So learning equals dopamine and the more dopamine you get, the more effort you'll put in again and again. There will be no stopping you, just like the use of substance. Let's look at an example. If you walk into a gym and have a look around while you're training, do you see people that know what they're doing in their training, enjoying their workout? And do you also see people training like they have no idea on what they're doing, not enjoying their workout and less motivated to train? The sole distinction between these two groups lies in their approach to learning. Those who wish to learn and educate themselves on how to train come in with something new that they might have read upon or watched online. They are more motivated to learn and implement what they have learned by putting it into action. And thereby, this stimulates their release of dopamine in response to their achievements. The ones that have no interest in learning have nothing to achieve, so there will be no reward for them. This latter group of individuals will eventually stop training over time because they will miss the opportunity of both physical and mental growth. It is only when you link workouts to feelings of pleasure and reward. Exercise related dopamine release increases positive feelings and motivates you to continue exercising. So learn, learn about yourself, learn about what interests you, learn a new instrument or art, learn anything. Because if you just do something or someone just told you to do it, it's not going to last for long. Call to action. Try this for one day. Learn something and go do it. See how you feel. This repeated use of drugs or alcohol is making changes in your brain. You might not be able to see it. Others around you can see you functioning differently but can't really put their finger on it. Others might find you always trying to seek pleasure, finding it hard to learn new things, stressing a lot, finding it hard to decide often or lacking self-control. If you see any of them in you or someone sees that in you, then try this because this is how I release dopamine rather than using a substance.